depending on what it is and if they are in fact actual. We don't know. We're being told they're classified. We don't know if, when, no. if it's like classified, classified, yeah. or just, you know, classified. And Welcome to this week's Wacky Moments of Leftist Extremism. Now this week, the two-faced leftist media was on full display. And on one hand, they were arguing, rightfully so, that New York Representative George Santos should step down for lying about his past resume. And his fake resume has surfaced, raising even more questions about his fabricated life story. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott has the details. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning to you. Congressman George Santos is being called a disgrace. But they just don't feel the same disgrace about Joe Biden's long history of false resume claims. Well, I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees. Of course, he didn't have three degrees, he didn't receive a full scholarship, and he actually graduated in the lower portion of his class. His claims are all false, along with his tractor trailer driving past. And if we I don't do drive an 18 wheeler, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish oh, I yeah. could. <laughs> That's I awesome. got to. No, actually, you don't. I mean, he's plagiarized, his resume lies go on and on. But you know, the leftist media don't ever entertain the thought that Biden shouldn't hold office. I was just thinking Biden hasn't accused me of being a murderer. Nope. Well, no need to ever question him then. Uh, the same rules that the media applies to the GOP just don't apply to Biden and the Democrats. Even though we just found out that classified and top secret documents from the time when Biden was VP were discovered on midterm election day, in Biden's office at the University of Pennsylvania, the place where the Biden Center gets millions of dollars from communist countries. And oh yeah, later, more were found in his garage. Uh, you know, that place where everybody stores classified items. And by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage. Okay, so it's not like you're sitting out in the street. Instead of delving into what the classified documents might contain, like maybe nuclear secrets and codes or something. Trump is now pushing back on the Washington Post report that the FBI was searching for paperwork related to nuclear weapons at his home in Florida. Nope, instead of speculating what Biden might have possibly illegally held on to, they spend most of their time trying to tell us how this is so much different than Trump having classified documents. The White House says the circumstances are far different than those in the Trump case. But there are key differences between this and the case involving former President Trump. Okay, so Paula, speaking of differences, can you lay out the differences between this and the Mar-a-Lago document issue? It's a great question, Don. I mean, this is totally different. Trump had them at his house in Mar-a-Lago, and Biden had them in his garage. I don't believe it. You break the law, you go to jail. Go to jail. Let me say yep. it in America, in America, and our former Republican brothers and sisters need to understand this in America, even in the age of Trump. No man is above the law. Michael Steele. Amen, brother. It seems the leftist media is treating Biden's situation just, just a little bit different. I'm confused, Willie. I'm, I'm genuinely confused here. I mean, so I'm looking around the way I am. I'm confused. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't <laughs> sound anything like... Willie wants no part of the this. The two cases. No, but there's no Very. comparison here. Very. All right, so this is what the kids would call false equivalency, or what Aristotle well, and many of his of writings would call... Uh, malarkey. I wonder if we should speculate for days on what those documents were held for by Biden. I mean, blackmail maybe? Why do you think that he wanted this stuff? So this is all about power for Donald Trump. This is all about him still remaining relevant and exerting the power, whether it's going to be over the United States as extortion. <laughs> that kind of speculation is only for a Republican president. Biden's a Democrat, so we just shouldn't speculate. And if they are in fact actual, we don't know. We're being told they're classified. We don't know if, no. if it's like classified, classified, yeah. or just, you know, classified. And, and this was One of the things that gets true. me crazy is before we know, it's already been spun a specific yeah. way. I don't want to see that. Yeah, now it's time to focus on facts. I could go hammer the media's bias on this classified material topic all day. I mean, it's incredible. But of course, when the leftist media does get facts on the rare occasion that they actually ask for them, well, then they scream like children because they don't actually want to hear them. 
Joy Reid this week when Congressman Byron Donalds told her the facts on Social Security. Do you know that Social Security is going to be insolvent in 2035? It is not going to be. That yes, is not true. That, that is actually, actually not true. No, it's say. actually not now, true. Joy, it's actually I'm a not true. Professional. It's actually I do more not. Than just it, but it's actually I not true. In the financial community. I That's actually you, not true. That's Social actually Security not true. will go insolvent. That's actually not true. Those are the facts. That's not Should true. Should we not prepare that is not for true. that? But Joy doesn't want to verify. To do that, you'd have to go on the internet and go to the Social Security website and look and oh wow, yeah, I guess finding out facts is. So hard, huh? it's much easier to make crap up and support a ludicrous agenda, like to ban gas stoves in order to fight climate change. But a lot of states have preemptively banned gas bans. And you can imagine they're usually red states in, in Texas leading the way. They want to stop this because it's an existential threat to that business. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, you know, the science is showing us that having a gas stove in a small apartment, especially with bad ventilation, it's like having an, a car idling there. Except that carbon monoxide from a car running in an enclosed space will eventually kill you, and having a gas stove in your apartment generally doesn't do that. But leftist media doesn't like facts that don't promote an agenda. I mean, imagine calling someone who wants to save the life of a baby pro-life. Let me just, Future voters, let me just interrupt and say that pro-life is a term that they may, that an entire group uh, wants to use, but that is uh, not an accurate description. I'm sure all the MSNBC anchors call the left pro-baby death, right, instead of pro-choice? There's no Very. comparison here. Very. All right, so this is what the kids would call false equivalency. Of course there's no comparison. There's only leftist lies to be broadcast. I'm Eric Shiner from MRC TV, asking you to visit the MRC homepage. Click on the donate button if you want to help keep videos like this one coming. Like, share, and subscribe to our channels on social media, especially the ones that actually let you see our videos. Rumble, that's the surefire place to go. And I have to go right now and put some classified documents in my garage. But next week, I'll be back with another look at leftist media madness.